In a recent parliamentary session, the topic of retaking the GCEA level examinations took center stage, sparked by inquiries from Mr. Dennis Tan Lip Fong, a Workers' Party member of parliament for Hogang SMC. Mr. Tan sought clarification from Minister for Education Chan Chun Singh on the feasibility of allowing students who have passed their A-level exams but are dissatisfied with their grades to retake the exams as school candidates. He also inquired about the possibility of designating specific pre-university institutions for such retakes and expanding the Adusave account to fund these endeavors. In response, Minister Chan Chun Singh articulated the government's stance, stating, We do not encourage students who have passed their A-level examination to retake the examination in schools. He provided rationale for this position, underscoring the myriad of opportunities available to students post-examination. Minister Chan highlighted the diverse tertiary education pathways accessible to students, including courses in autonomous universities and polytechnics, where they may receive module exemptions based on their A-level results. Moreover, he emphasized the availability of heavily subsidized continuing education and training programs for individuals seeking to enhance their qualifications as they enter the workforce. For students adamant about retaking their A-level exams as private candidates and requiring financial assistance, Minister Chan suggested seeking support from the Social Service Office or other community organizations to explore available assistance avenues. In the latest development, the Ministry of Education, MOE, and Singapore Examinations and Assessment Board, SEAB, reported the outcomes of the 2023 GCE A-level examinations. Out of 10,899 candidates, a significant majority, 10,238, or approximately 93.9%, achieved at least three higher two, H2, passes, coupled with a pass in general paper or knowledge and inquiry. This success rate is notably consistent with previous years, as evidenced by the comparable performance of candidates in the 2022 examinations, which boasted a similar success rate of approximately 93.5%. The admissions process for the prestigious National University of Singapore NUS, hinges significantly on applicants' academic performance in four content subjects. This assessment encompasses three subjects at the higher two, H2, level and one subject at the higher one, H1, level, encompassing a spectrum of content-based disciplines. In light of these developments, it's imperative to consider the implications of the government's stance on A-level retakes and the ongoing discourse surrounding educational opportunities and pathways in Singapore. What are your thoughts on Minister Chan Chun Singh's assertion against encouraging A-level retakes within schools? Do you believe the existing array of post-examination options adequately caters to the diverse needs and aspirations of students? Share your views in the comments section below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more insightful updates on Singaporean education and beyond.